So now let's see how to create the database and tables, uh, and we'll be using text file format for it. So before getting into that, uh, let us uh, get a quick overview about what all tools that are available to create this database and tables, um, and then load data into those tables. So here I'll be using uh, my own environment, which is nothing but Big Data Labs. I have already covered it about signing, signing, uh, about signing up for labs.itvarsity.com, and uh, by the subscription, and then you can choose uh, whatever account you have used to sign up to log in, and if you have active account, you will see the credentials. Otherwise, you will see the plans. And you can use the, one of the, these plans. So let me use these credentials and uh, start uh, showing you what all different tools that are available on the cluster or even on Hotmark Sandbox, um, where you might be preparing for the certification. Or it could be even Cloudera uh, Quick Start VM. Most of the virtual machines come up with uh, similar tools. OK? So here. If you uh, if you want, you can actually click on Open Console and directly log in to the uh, terminal through web using the username and password which are displayed here. Just copy the username and then the password, and make sure when you copy the password, the rectangle the cursor is block, um, bold or filled up. If it is hollow then uh, the context is not in the um, uh, in the terminal uh, and the paste might not work and if you're using windows just use shift insert to paste okay and then uh, you are in the lab here we have different tools to learn uh, spark sql one is spark sql command which will come with the hotworks distribution this will not be available in Cloudera uh, virtual machine, um, uh, but uh, in Hortonworks, Sandbox, and many other areas wherever Spark is installed, you will get uh, a command line interface called Spark SQL as well. Okay, and you can use Spark SQL hyphen hyphen master yarn. I would highly recommend you to use the yarn always, whether you are using uh, a Spark Shell or PySpark or Spark SQL. And then as this is a multi-tenant environment, and just giving to uh, giving a five-digit uh, unique port number so that uh, there won't be any contention for the port, <coughs> and hit enter. And it will launch the Spark SQL. You also you can also log in to the lab through any client uh, SSH client tools. On your PC, it could be Mac terminal like this, <coughs> or it could be Putty, it could be Sigwin, it could be Linux terminal, whatever environment you are using, based on that, whatever tool you have, you can choose that and you can also log in from here. And give the username at the gateway node or client node, which is gw01.itvarsity.com or whatever is communicated to you, and hit enter, it will prompt for the password. And you can get the password from here. Once you paste, you will be able to log in into the uh, gateway node uh, via terminal. Unless uh, for quick uh, quick things, uh, I would highly recommend you to use uh, uh, the um, SSH client tools on your PC rather than this uh, web console. Web console is handy, but uh, it, it has its own uh, limitations. It might uh, die very quickly and all. So better to use the terminal. OK. So now, uh, as I have launched Spark SQL here, I, can, I will run a few commands here. And then I will come out of it, and I will start using uh, the terminal, which is this one. OK. So here, if you want to list the databases, you can list by saying show databases. There are hundreds of databases in this. you can see here that's why i would uh, always recommend you to use uh, uh, your own database so
so that you don't step onto the other toes. Um, as per the problem statement, we also have to create the uh, tables, and we will see that in a uh, in a moment. And uh, so this is this is one way where you can actually launch um, uh, environment and start practicing to begin with. But the actual uh, conclusion for learning Fast SQL comes when you can use these SQL queries in the underlying programming language such as Python or Scala. So first, I will use command line tools like this to actually um, develop the queries. And then we, I will just uh, uh, show you how you can embed that query into a, in, in your actual pro program. That way, you'll get familiar with the, um, both the tools like Spark SQL as well as <clears throat> how to write uh, applications using uh, uh, Spark Shell uh, or Py, Py Spark. Okay. Now, on top of uh, uh, Spark SQL. I'm exiting from here, and I'm going to the terminal now where I already logged in. <clears throat> On top of Spark, Spark SQL, you can also use Hive. To actually come up with the queries, to learn HiveQL, which will be used as part of the Spark. Same query can be run in a Hive context. In Hive or in, in Spark context, in Spark SQL or Spark Shell or PySpark, whatever it is. Okay. The reason why I'm choosing Hive is Hive is much cleaner to learn compared to Spark SQL or uh, uh, the programming language. I'm I'm a bit comfortable with Hive and also by showing in Hive uh, and then running in Spark SQL or uh, Spark Shell, you will understand that uh, the relationship between these tools with much more clearly so when when we use sql whether you are using hive or uh, spark sql um, the query will be compiled um, into some uh, execution framework if it is hive it will be executed it will be compiled into MapReduce framework if it is spark sql it will be compiled into uh, spark uh, framework Okay, so the uh, when it uh, but for both of the purposes, whether you are using uh, uh, Hive or Spark SQL, when it compiles, it has to read the metadata from somewhere, and that metadata is called as Hive Meta Store. Okay, even though the same query will execute in a much different way um, when we run in a Spark or Hive, internally. Uh, the syntax check and also uh, validating the table names, call names, etc. Use the same components um, which are part of Hive engine, which is nothing but Hive Meta Store, etc. So that's why even if we if we learn writing queries in Hive, we can leverage the same knowledge in any of the big data SQL uh, uh, big data technologies which support SQL type of interfaces. So learning in Hive will make you proficient in Spark SQL, Presto, Impala, Tez, all these technologies where there are SQL interfaces involved when it comes to big data technologies. Okay, so that's why we will be using Hive as much as we can. And from here, we will take it further and we will start uh, learning how to create databases, how to load data into those, the, how to create tables and then load data into those tables, and uh, how to write SQL queries, uh, and what are the uh, things which you need to know while writing SQL queries, uh, etc.